My name is John. Where I grew up, almost everyone smoked. My mum smoked, my dad smoked, my big sister smoked, and all my friends smoked. It's just what people did. We all knew it could be dangerous, but nobody thought about that. On our estate, there was this one patch of grass, and that's where we would all hang around, smoke, drink, laugh, shout, fight, and generally just mess about. It was great, but then some of us got into drugs and things got serious. You know, robbing, sex, beating people up, whatever it took to get the drugs. I spent a few months inside a couple of times. This went on for years until I met Julie. She got me to look at what I was doing to myself. We had a little boy. That's when it really hit me. He needed me. So I went to rehab and now I'm clean. I have been for a couple of years now. I got a job and last year I even gave up smoking. I felt like a proper dead good dad. I would pick up my little boy, look at myself in the mirror, and for the first time in my life I felt good about myself. Too good to be true? Yeah, it was. My cough started getting worse and I had these pains in my chest. I lost loads of weight, so I went to see the doctor. He did loads of tests, and then one day, he gets me in and sitting comfortably, he says, sorry, but you've got lung cancer. Just like that. I ask him if I'm going to die. He goes on and on for ages, but the short answer turns out I probably am going to die. They're going to give me chemo and everything, but he says I've got about a 20% chance of living five years. That's a 20% chance of seeing my little boy reach the age of 7. There is this one thing though. They could give me this new, really expensive drug. I said to the doctors, I'm up for that. I've had lots of new expensive drugs in my time. They didn't think that was funny. Anyhow, I get this new drug and my chances improve a lot. It's a 50-50. I want to flip that coin. I want that drug. These doctors say you can't get it anywhere because it's too expensive. But how can you put a price on life like that? Who has the right to decide whether I live or die, and whether my little boy has a dad?